Have you ever seen the excitement of winning sour into the despair of losing? Join us as we delve into the captivating stories of athletes who celebrated too soon. But amidst the heartache, one question remains, will they learn from their mistakes? In today's show, we uncover athletes' tales of premature celebrations met with unexpected turns of events. From track to field and the ring, explore memorable instances where confidence led to bitter letdowns. Race for a roller coaster of emotions as we delve into the world of athletes who celebrated too early. Before we kick off our video, ensure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming content. Now, without any delay, let's jump right into the exploration. Maurice Green 2004 Athens Olympics 100m Final Maurice Green, an American sprinter and former world record holder, entered the 2004 Athens Olympics with a reputation as one of the fastest men in the world. Having won gold in the 100 meters at the 2000 Sydney Olympics, Green was no stranger to Olympic pressure. In Athens, the 100 meters final was highly anticipated, featuring a strong field of competitors eager to claim the title of the world's fastest man. Green, known for his explosive start and powerful sprinting technique, was among the favorites to win. During the race, Green showcased his exceptional speed and experience. Despite a fiercely competitive field, he managed to secure a place on the podium. Green finished third, earning the bronze medal with a time of 9.87 seconds, just behind Justin Gatlin and Francis Obiquelu. This race added another Olympic medal to Green's illustrious career, underlining his status as one of the great sprinters of his era. His performance in Athens was a testament to his enduring talent and determination in the face of the stiffest competition. Lindsay Jacobellis, 2006 Winter Olympics Snowboard Cross Lindsay Jacobellis, an American snowboarder, experienced one of the most memorable moments in Winter Olympics history during the 2006 Turin Games. Competing in the snowboard cross event, a race that involves multiple riders navigating a course with jumps, turns, and other obstacles, Jacobellis showcased her dominant skills, leading the final race with a significant margin. As she approached the second-to-last jump, confident of victory, she decided to add flair to her performance by attempting a method grab, a move where the rider grabs the snowboard in midair. This decision proved costly. Jacobellis lost her balance upon landing, tumbling into the snow. This unexpected error allowed Swiss competitor Tanja Frieden to overtake her, relegating Jacobellis to a second-place finish. Instead of securing what seemed like a certain gold medal, Jacobellis earned silver. The incident became a cautionary tale about the risks of premature celebration and remains a defining moment in Olympic lore, highlighting the fine line between triumph and disappointment in sports. Megan Rutledge 2013 X Games Moto X Racing At the 2013 X Games in Los Angeles, Australian motocross rider Megan Rutledge experienced a heartbreak that became a cautionary tale about premature celebrations in sports. Leading the women's Moto X Racing event and on the verge of securing a gold medal, Rutledge approached the final jump with a comfortable lead. In a moment of early celebration, she pumped her fist in triumph while still airborne. This premature gesture proved disastrous as she lost control of her bike upon landing. The mistake allowed her competitor, Vicky Golden, to overtake her in the final moments of the race. Rutledge crossed the finish line in second place, settling for the silver medal. This incident underscored the unpredictable nature of motocross racing and the importance of maintaining focus and control until the very end. Robbie Fowler, Premier League Matches Robbie Fowler, famously known as God by Liverpool fans, was one of the most prolific strikers in the Premier League during the 1990s. Fowler's career was adorned with moments of sheer brilliance, characterized by his natural goal-scoring instinct and remarkable finishing ability. While the notion of Fowler celebrating too early and consequently losing a game is not a specific incident that stands out in his career, he was known for his unique and sometimes controversial celebrations. One of the most memorable was when he mimicked snorting the goal line after scoring against Everton, a celebration that led to a fine and suspension. Fowler's contributions on the field were immense, having scored 163 Premier League goals. His knack for finding the back of the net, combined with his audacious personality, made him a beloved figure in English football. Leon Lett, Dallas Cowboys vs. Buffalo Bills Super Bowl XXVI During Super Bowl XXVI, Leon Lett, a defensive lineman for the Dallas Cowboys, became part of one of the most memorable blunders in NFL history. The Cowboys were dominating the Buffalo Bills in the fourth quarter. Lett recovered a fumble and ran towards the end zone for what seemed to be an easy touchdown. However, as he neared the goal line, Lett began celebrating prematurely, holding the football up casually. This allowed Don Beebe, a hustling wide receiver from the Bills, to catch up and knock the ball out of Lett's hand just before he could score. The ball rolled out of the end zone for a touchback, nullifying the touchdown. Despite the gaffe, the Cowboys won the game convincingly, 
52 to 17, but Let's Mistake remains a cautionary tale against early celebration in sports. Mickey Zimling, Danish Superliga, 2007. Mickey Zimling, a Danish footballer, experienced a peculiar incident during a Danish Superliga match in 2007 while playing for Esbjerg FB against FC Copenhagen. Zimling found the back of the net in what was a crucial moment for his team, and in the heat of celebration, he decided to leap over an advertising board to share his joy with the fans. Unfortunately, this moment of triumph quickly turned sour as Zimling landed awkwardly, injuring himself in the process. This unforeseen consequence of his celebration forced him to leave the pitch, making it a bittersweet moment for both him and his team. The incident is often cited in discussions about the importance of safe and measured celebrations in sports. While expressing joy and excitement is a natural part of scoring goals and achieving success on the field, Simling's situation serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the potential risks athletes expose themselves to when celebrations go beyond the bounds of safety. His premature exit from the match due to an injury sustained during a celebration is a reminder of the unexpected ways in which moments of high emotion can lead to unintended outcomes. Mark Cavendish, Milan San Remo, 2009 Mark Cavendish's victory in the 2009 Milan San Remo stands as a masterclass in tactical sprinting and race timing, diverging from tales of premature celebration to spotlight precision and strategy in one of cycling's most prestigious classics. On March 21, 2009, Cavendish, racing for Team Columbia High Road, showcased his extraordinary sprinting prowess in the final meters of the race. The Milan San Remo, known as La Primavera, is famed for its challenging course, spanning nearly 300 kilometers, a true test of endurance and speed. Cavendish's win was not just about his sprinting speed, but also his patience and race intelligence. As the Pelavin hurtled towards the finish line on the Via Roma, Cavendish remained tucked in the slipstream of his rivals, timing his final sprint to perfection. He overtook Heinrich Hosler in the dying moments of the race, securing victory by the slimmest of margins. This win marked Cavendish's first monument victory and underscored his reputation as one of the fastest sprinters in the world, achieved not through premature celebration, but through calculated execution and unwavering focus until the finish line was crossed. Denny Van Poppel, Tour de France, Stage 4, 2015 During Stage 4 of the 2015 Tour de France, Denny Van Poppel, a young and promising sprinter, was on the cusp of achieving what many cyclists dream of, a stage victory in the Tour de France. The stage, a flat route suitable for sprinters, concluded in a high-speed, chaotic dash to the finish line. In the heat of this intense competition, Van Poppel, riding for the Trek factory racing team, believed he had outpaced his rivals in the final meters. In a moment of premature exultation, he raised his arms in victory, thinking he had secured his first Tour de France stage win. However, in a twist of fate, Czech rider Zdenek Stybar, a member of the ETIX Quick Step team, had actually crossed the line ahead of Van Poppel. The realization that his celebration was premature came too late, and instead of celebrating a victory, Van Poppel was left to reflect on what might have been. This incident served as a stark reminder of the importance of crossing the finish line before declaring victory, underscoring the unpredictable nature of professional cycling and the thin margins between triumph and disappointment. In the world of sports, the allure of premature celebration is a siren song that tempts even the most seasoned athletes. Yet, as we witnessed in the tales recounted here, the consequences can be devastating. From basketball courts to soccer fields and wrestling arenas to Olympic stadiums, the sting of defeat after premature jubilation is a bitter pill to swallow. But amidst the heartache, there lies a valuable lesson. Patience and humility are virtues worth cherishing. So let these stories serve as a cautionary tale to all athletes. In the pursuit of victory, patience is a virtue and restraint is a strength. In the end, it's not the premature celebrations that are remembered, but the perseverance and resilience of those who endure until the final whistle blows. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming content notifications. Until our next encounter, farewell.